this is a quick overview of a sample extension using GoZam and the flowchart sample. If you have the light switch extensions installed, um, you can say new project and create a light switch extension uh, library. I will skip that process and show you what I've done here. I've created one, an extension for the flowchart uh, sample and plugged in the XAML and C Sharp almost 100% from the sample. I had to change the shell a little bit uh, of the control so that because it's by default it's plugged into the the container for all our different uh, samples. Uh, but other than that, the uh, XAML is is identical. The only difference in the C sharp is um, I removed the loading and storing and the the setup of the initial model. So the load and uh, store are commented out here. But the palette is loaded. So once you have one of these extension projects set up, you set up this VISIX uh, part of the project so that when that's the thing that installs the extension into LightSwitch, you set it up so that when you run this project, it starts up Visual Studio and starts it up in the context so that your extension uh, is there when you do a Visual Studio session for creating a light switch application. So when I run this extension, this is what happens. Uh, I've got an application here that I've been working on called Workflow. And I'll open that. Now I started the first attempt at this was to bind the Gozam control directly to data that I designed it used in the in the data designer inside light switch so I, I set up a flowchart links and a flowchart nodes table and this first screen is what I was playing around with when I was doing that although the code's been hacked up so it doesn't work right now um, it, that had some problems so I switched to a model where the light switch uh, is just saving the XML in a in a table with uh, the rows are a name and a field for the XML and the GoZam control just loads the XML that's associated with the, the selected item. So that is this screen here. And it has a column on the left, which is the list of workflows that it knows about. Uh, and on the right, it has the custom control. This is supposed to show up here with the icon of the GoZam control. And for some reason, it didn't show up this time. It did the first time I did this, so I'm not quite sure what I didn't do this time around. But I'll figure the details out. Uh, now, when you run this, And this environment is so slow. It's it's a little painful <laughs> developing with light switch because it takes so long to open these things up. It's nice once it's running, I guess, because you can use the, the screen designer inside the development environment. So this was my first attempt. This has, shows the flowchart nodes and flowchart links and uh, 
I played with binding and stata together, but I ran into a bunch of other problems with uh, models and views. So this is uh, my second uh, shot at this. When I select uh, a workflow, it shows the XML associated with that workflow as a detail, and when you click Edit Flowchart, it loads that XML into the Gozam control on the right. Uh, now, save and load buttons are still there in the upper left of the Gozam control, but those are disabled, and, or, and there's no code to implement anything with that. And I haven't gotten around to implementing save to um, save this edited flowchart back into the uh, the flowchart XMLs table there on the left right now. But uh, I had enough working that I wanted to get a copy of this to you uh, today. I think that's about all. One of the things you'll see is that there's uh, C-sharp code associated with the Gozam in the screen. And that does things like finding the control after the screen's made available and setting up the models and handling the uh, edit flowchart button. And I didn't record that in this uh, recording session, but you, you can see that there. I think that's all I've got for now. Send me uh, any mail if you have questions.